Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. We have 2 to the power x plus 1 equals negative 1 over x cubed, and we're going to be solving for x values. Since this is a non-standard equation, we have an exponential on one side and a rational function on the other side. We're going to use a very special method. All right, let's go ahead and break it down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and write this. First of all, I'm going to cross multiply. And then I want to break it down into 2 to the power x times 2 times x cubed. And that product is equal to negative 1. And now let's go ahead and do the following. Cube root both sides. Obviously, I want to get x to the first power. So let's go ahead and cube root both sides or raise both sides to the power 1 third. And this is going to give me 2 to the power x over 3 because when we cube root something, we have to divide the power by 3. And then times x cubed is going to be x. And then 2 will be basically the cube root of 2. And the cube root of negative 1 is just negative 1. Again, we're thinking in the real sense. Okay? Great. Now, we can go ahead and leave the x and 2 to the x over 3 together. And write this as x times 2 to the power x over 3 equals negative 1 over cube root of 2, right? Now, obviously, I can write the cube root of 2, negative 1 over cube root of 2 as negative 2 to the power negative 1 third. Make sense? That's actually going to be a little bit more helpful for us. Great. Now, we have this equals this, right? And what can we do with that? So our goal is to get the same thing for the exponent as well as here. So since we have an x over 3, we should also have an x over 3 here. How do we get an x over 3 though, right? We can multiply both sides by 1 third. Exactly, that's what it is. So let's go ahead and do that. Multiply by 1 third, multiply by 1 third. And of course, you have to do it on both sides and multiply by 1 third. There's a negative already, so I included it. Now we have this equality. What do you do with that? Okay, we're getting closer and closer. Here's the next thing we're going to consider. We're going to go ahead and write this as 2. We're going to write the 2 as e to the power ln 2. And then, then we're going to get the following. x over 3 times e to the power ln 2 to the power x over 3 equals negative 1 third times 2 to the power negative 1 third. I think I'm going to write it as the, again, with the radical form. Maybe I'll just leave it like this for now. Okay, let's go ahead and leave it like that for now. And then we're going to do the following. When you distribute the powers, you're going to get an x over 3 times e to the power x over 3 times ln 2 equals negative 1 third times 2 to the power negative 1 third. This kind of looks messy, but don't worry, we're going to fix it. Notice that here we have x over 3 multiplied by ln 2. So we do need the same thing here. Let's multiply both sides by ln 2, which is a constant, right? So now we're going to get what we want. And of course, we have to do that here too. And then we're going to get the following. Make sense? So far, so good? Okay. So we just need to, you know, work this out a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this negative one third here so that it makes more sense. Now we're going to get x over 3 ln 2 times e to the power x over 3 ln 2 equals ln 2 to the power negative 1 third times 2 to the power negative 1 third. And the final stage is just going to be writing this using Euler's number, again with the same identity, 2 is equal to e to the power ln 2. So that's going to give us, that's going to give us e to the power negative one third ln two. Make sense? So I could probably just bring this negative one third down. That way I'm gonna get, I think, what we, uh, what we need. But basically here's what's happening. Let me tell you. At this point, we got uh, this equals this, right? So if you look at it carefully, the left-hand side is appropriate for Lambert's W function. That was the special function we're going to use. So what's Lambert's W function? You take an input like t to the t, 
and the output is going to be T under certain conditions. But here's the thing. This is not always one-to-one, -one, so this is multi-valued, and I'm going to give you the numerical values and what happens in this case. So we're going to use Lambert's W function on both sides. And I'm going to write this as bring the power here as well, e to the power ln 2 to the power negative 1 third. Now, when you apply Lambert's W function on the left-hand side, this is going to be your output, so x over 3 ln 2. And here, this is your t, and this is your e to the power t. Makes sense? So the output is going to be ln 2 to the power negative 1 third, which is the same thing as negative 1 third ln 2. This is x over 3 ln 2. ln 2 cancels out. We end up with x over 3 equals negative 1 third, which means x is equal to negative 1. But is that the only solution to this equation? That's a good question, right? Now, if you go ahead and take a look, and we're going to realize that there's actually two intersection points. Uh-oh, why don't we get the other solution from here, right? So here's, here's uh, when we have two solutions. Let me go ahead and explain that. So when we did Lambert's W on this one right here, this value was approximately negative 0.18, okay? So what happens if you get a value like negative 0.18 and you want to apply Lambert's W function on it, you get two values because this number is between negative 1 over E and 0. When you have that, you get two solutions from the main branch and the negative branch of Lambert's W function. And by using a calculator, you are going to be able to get both solutions and they're going to look like this. As you can see, there's two intersection point. And here's how we can express them using Lambert's W function notation. It's a little messy, but that's what it is. And here's the real solutions approximately. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.